What I'd like to do is show you the voice feature for the program now. Every thumbnail has a blue microphone attached to it. Now it'll stay blue until you have a recording done. Once you have a recording it'll turn red. To activate this or use it just simply push the blue button and start talking. This is an evaluation on a horse that uh, was for pre-purchase. As you can see this horse has a very bad lateral heel. And start talking. This is an evaluation on a horse that uh, was for pre-purchase. As you can see this horse has a very bad lateral heel. So that's how you make a voice recording. If you want to delete that recording, simply come over here and hit delete. Now, although this is a blue button, it'll still come up a little bit differently though the next time you go to make a voice recording. There's nothing here to play because there's I deleted the, the last recording we did. Now to re-record, now come over here to this blue microphone and re-record what you'd like to have on this thumbnail. And re-record what you'd like to have on this thumbnail. And that's how you do the voice recordings. Voice is also attached to the forms. Every thumbnail has a form. Opening up the form page will give you your four page option where you could take an image. And typically you would normally type in here. Now you have the option of a voice recording. This microphone is red because it is actually taking the voice that we just recorded and putting it in here as your findings. So typically the voice that you'd made on your thumbnail out here would be your findings and then these four images or voice recordings would support that findings. So all I would have to do here is the same thing. This is image number one. Then subsequently load up other images. We'll just throw some drawings on here to make it look a little bit different. And we'll make that image number two. There it is. And I could do the same thing here. This is the voice for image number two. And then the same thing. I'll just continue to use the same image for these pages to show you this next part. Once you have your images loaded up here and you want to view these, let's say you send this to a customer or a client on a CD or you want to actually look at them, we have the new viewer panel for these four images. Simply press one on, uh, click on one of these images, will pull up your new viewer screen, enlarge it over here, and the actual recording will come with it. So you just push play. This is image number one. And there it is for all, all of your images. And that's how you do the voice.